I never put down nobody. I got my own flaws and my own faults, but I didn't do that. <laughs> that gives you a thousand words. That expression right there is golden. Everybody right now is talking about TD Jakes and the allegations that are occurring. And uh, I would like to give you my opinion on this and let you know kind of what I think of situations like this. Right off the bat, I want to let you know that, yeah, nobody's perfect. Don't expect for anybody to be perfect. A lot of people freak out like this, are surprised like this, to, the, to a level of surprise that it's like, no, we're not perfect. Now, why are some still kind of surprised? Well, yeah, he's a pastor. He should know better. He's been doing it for years, right? That's what you will be saying, and which is true. But then at the end of the day, do not put your trust on man. The word says do not put your trust on man, but on God. Only on God. Jesus Christ, Lord, Father, God gets the 100%. Okay? You only depend on him 100%. Not on man. Don't. Never do that. Did I ever depend on TDJs to show me the robes, to let me know and teach me certain things? In the beginning, I did. But then you little by little, as for me, I, ha I, I have found the love of money in his style of teaching, you know, hungry for money, doing things and kind of just uh, hoarding money, right? It's easy to kind of tell when, when uh, the love of money is in somebody's preaching because why, why do you got to be so flashy? Why do you have to have millions of dollars in the bank? For what? What? Just in case some disaster happens? For what? If it's not for that, then for what? Just so you can be sure that you have every every single day a steak to eat? So you can have shrimp and steak every single day? Is that what, you know, What what what's the main reason for, right? Uh, so from what I know, you know, T.D. Jakes is a, a millionaire, you know, and hey, there's nothing wrong with being blessed with a lot of money. God can do that. But there's a purpose behind it. Not so that you may save it up for yourself and enjoy it and just your pleasures, right? So these allegations are pretty strong against him and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the, the, uh, the video again and show you why, in my opinion, I think these allegations are false. Right now, the level of internet that, that you can do, the, the level of it that we have now, you can do almost anything with an image or portray something, stuff like that. It is insane what you can do. So don't believe everything you read, see on the internet. It is insane how much generated computer effects can be used to manipulate uh, images or even video and everything going going around so based on this reaction you know and i can understand maybe his wife is just ignorant you no know? maybe he did it and he's just a very very good actor and very good liar right very good actor very good liar but but it, at the end of the day remember he's gonna have to deal with god himself you have to pay attention to the style of teaching. You already know when, uh, you know, it says, it says that uh, you cannot have uh, sin in your, in your life because it, it, uh, it'll destroy the whole lump, right? It'll destroy the whole lump. So if you're sinning in one area, it's going to destroy the rest of your, your walk with Christ, your, your faith, right? You will fall into temptation. Even a pastor to hit, uh, of his integrity can fall. Can fall. So let's check it out. I came in the building and I sat down and without talking to you or turning my head or looking at you, I could feel you worrying about me. And though yeah, so... And uh, that, that's the thing because we, we don't know. We don't know till it's been 100% proven that 
he actually did that. And why is it why is it important for us to prove it, right? The reason why is because he's standing on the pulpit. That's why. If it was just somebody random, hey, let them be. If that's how they want to live their life in sin, we already know if you die in your sins, you will perish. There is forgiveness of sins in the Lord Jesus Christ. But you have to believe. You have to believe the gospel. It's by grace, through faith, that you are saved. Once you are born again, you have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will convict you. So if you're under sin, you might not even be saved. So the performance was amazing. It was hard for them to do it in an atmosphere almost like preaching in a funeral because you were worried. But I come to tell you I'm okay. I'm okay because I never told you I was perfect. Right there. You know. What does it mean by that? In my opinion, it means you're going to fail. Sometimes you're going to offend somebody. You're going to say something. You're going to do something. Like let's say um, he asked for money to buy a, a, a new car. And that was, that was wrong. And he probably repented and asked for forgiveness for that. You, you, we don't know every single detail. Only God knows. That's the thing. We don't know what kind of charity he's, he's done. We don't know how he re if he repented of whatever he's saying that he's not perfect in. He repented. He's better at it. It happened a while back. The Lord will forgive you. This one. I never put down nobody. I got my own flaws and my own faults, but I didn't do that 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 right there so this is i i'm in i'm in the the higher percentage that he didn't do it why ddj's is very famous and popular right very famous and popular right he has a, a, a large network he knows people that knows people that knows people that knows people. Something like this, this kind of expression towards what he's being accused of, it's actually derogatory towards those that are like that. And he has, there's been interviews before where he does, he's never really given a 100% yes or no answer on homosexuality but look at his reaction he couldn't escape that even to him is ridiculous but now he's he's giving a message of of how ridiculous it is to do something like that imagine how much flashback right how, how much how much how much hatred he's going to get for this, right? Wow. And then it gets worse. It gets worse. By the way, I, I, I know I said flashback. I meant, you know, when he gets, he's going to get slashed for this. <laughs> and it gets worse. <laughs> Get his wife. That ain't the kind of stuff you forget. <laughs> Come here. There it is. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you they're going to get slashed for this. They're going to get hatred for this. He needs to come out and say that homosexuality is sin. He, I don't think he has before. But there you have it. So because of that, can this, can this happen? Yes. It's possible. We don't know. Only God knows. So... 
keep you know opinions are all fine and dandy but a hundred percent accusations you're playing with fire only god knows and god will take care of this let's keep our prayers towards him let's pray for td jakes let's pray for those that are abusing and let's do this the right way hope you enjoyed the video hit the like button so i can make more of the ones that you like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you on the next video god bless you